Slime or gag. Ha 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 ha. You're going to need some borax. Borax is a detergent that can be found in the clothes washing detergent aisle at most grocery stores. A sealable container that you are going to use to make a saturated solution of borax. A container that you're going to mix all the ingredients in. Make sure that the container is something that you wouldn't mind destroying if you don't clean it out right away. Some water. I used two cups just in case I needed to mix something or I needed some more water. A container of white glue. Make sure the glue is the non-washable kind because the washable kind is not going to work. And some food coloring. Did you know they make neon food coloring now? Pretty cool. Um, so the more colorful you want your slime, the more food coloring you're going to need. You may want to use gloves when you make your slime because the dye will get caught up in the polymers of the slime once it starts to polymerize, but before that, it can dye your hands. Make your borax solution. It doesn't really matter how much you use, you just want to have it be saturated. This means that no more is going to dissolve in the container. Add water and seal the container. And shake the container. This will saturate the water with the borax, which is what you want. Run hot water to clean out the pipes from any borax you may have spilled. Notice that there's solids at the bottom of the borax solution. This is what we want. We want it to be saturated to the point that no more is going to dissolve. Squeeze out as much of the glue as you can. The volume of the slime will be about twice the amount of glue that you use. I seal the glue back up because, well, I'm a teacher and I figure I can get this glue to do something else somewhere else. Add about the same volume of water as glue that you used and start mixing it. It's more enjoyable if you do it with your hands. Grab a towel that you don't mind getting destroyed. Paper towels will work too. You can see on your fingers that you've thinned out the polymers of the glue, which is good because otherwise you would just make a solid chunk of glue when you added the borax solution. Use as much coloring as you want. I have found that about 30 drops per small bottle of glue gives a very good solid color. And then mix it again. Mix the mixture thoroughly. Look at the borax solution. You can see that the water is saturated with the detergent. Pour a small amount into the glue mixture. The borax is going to instantly start to make slime as it causes the polymers of the glue to, to form longer chains.
Mix it thoroughly. It's gross, disgusting, and fun. When the slime starts to clump together well enough that you can break little pieces off of it, you're reaching the point where you need to add some more water until you get the slime consistency you want. Get your hands in there, that's right. Mix it, mix it like you mean it. The more you mix it, the more water will come out of the slime and the more firm it will become. If your slime gets too hard, add a little bit more water. Do not leave your slime out on any fabric that you think that it could die, like your parents, couch, some carpet, etc. Always put it back in a sealable container when you're done with it. You can store your slime in a plastic sealable bag indefinitely, as long as the slime doesn't get too dried out. If it gets a little bit dried out, you can add a little bit of water to it to revitalize it. If your slime is sticky, add just a little tiny bit more borax or roll it around in your hands until more water comes out. But if it gets so dry that powder starts to come off it, your slime's done and you'll never get it back again.